a lot of content creators and editors out there might just get their nights and weekends back. Let me show you four upcoming features from Adobe that I think are the most impressive. These are just like first looks at concept features that may or may not be coming down the line. Now, the first of these AI powered features is Project Clean Take. Now, this feature is designed to provide quick and surgical sound and dialogue cleanup when either you don't want to re-record or you can't. We're in the Fremont neighborhood of Seattle where the Adobe office is located. And the cool thing about this office is where it's located. So it's broken it up into speech, ambient, sound effects, music, and reverb. Well, that bell ringing was actually on the sound effects track, so I can just mute it. This is located. And the cool thing about this office is where it's located. No it's way. between Lake. Now, Adobe says Clean Take can correct mispronunciations. It can smooth your delivery out. It can isolate voices and noises. It can reduce or remove noise. And it can even swap in a word that you missed or kind of swap words around that you did say. Now, next up is Project Light Touch. And this is gonna let you create and move around or reshape light sources while you're editing an image. Which means I can move the light around so wow, you can see. Wow, no way! I'll put the light here and slowly push it no! inside. Now, next up is Project Frame Forward, which provides what is basically a video superpower. Now, this feature is going to let you edit a single frame, and whether that's removing, you know, a mic from a shot, changing the color of somebody's shirt, or editing in some kind of element or prop, you can do that in one frame of the video, and then when you enable this feature, it will apply that change through all the rest of the video, every single frame that comes after it. So this example is obviously very difficult because the car and the cameras are both moving very fast. With one single click of the button, the car and the smoke is now removed. There's no tedious rotoscoping or frame by frame masking for any of these common fixes or additions. And finally, there's Project Turnstyle, which allows you to turn a flat image or element into a 3D object that can then be repositioned and moved around in 3D space inside the image you're editing. Currently, zero viewpoint also doesn't match with the background. And after I have the 3D shape, I'll be able to freely adjust the camera. Wow. Now, I can, I can turn them cool? to face away That's so it looks like they are walking toward the house. Or oh. I can turn them around so it looks like they just got their candy and they are leaving the house. But what I really like about these features is that they're practical and task focused and they're really focused and designed on saving you time or salvaging a shoot or an image entirely. All right, guys, so what do you think of these four new features? Which one of them would help you save the most time? Which are you looking forward to the most? Do you hate it entirely? Let us know in the comments.